Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ryan Retro channel. Secret Console Gaming is absolutely fantastic, whether you're using the Retro Pocket 5, an Odin 2 Portal, or many other devices, even phones. But there is a problem, and that is if you want to install updates to the game, they usually have to be stored on the internal storage of your device. As you can see on my Retroid Pocket 5 right now, I have only 17 gigabytes left on my internal storage. And if I'd like to install an update to Monster Hunter Rise, that update is 14 gigabytes in size, so I'm quickly going to run out of space. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine your games with their updates and keep them all on the external SD card, which solves the problem of filling up the internal storage and also makes it a lot easier to transfer those games between devices with the updates and DLC intact. So how can we get one of these plus the updates onto one of these? Let's hop onto our computer now and I'll show you how. So in your computer, come to the website in the description, which is the NSC Builder GitHub page. Scroll down a little bit and over here you will see releases. Click on the newest release, which is NSC Builder v 1.01b. There will be a lot of text here, but just ignore it and move all the way down until you see assets. And here you're going to click on the 64 or 86 version, depending on if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. If you're not sure which one you have, it's highly likely you have a 64-bit operating system. So I would suggest you click on NSCB101BX64.zip. So let's click on that to download it. Once it's downloaded, find it in your download folder, and now you're going to need to extract it. So just right click, extract all, and by default, it will place it into its own folder with the same name. So let's choose extract. That has now been extracted and we can open up the folder and inside you'll see some quite scary looking files, but don't worry about it. We only need one of them and I'm going to guide you through it very simply. But before we begin, there is one last thing we need to do to get this ready. And that is to get the keys file. In order to emulate the secret console, you usually need a prod.keys file, which you have to put in your emulator. So if you're following this guide, the chances are very high you already have this. If you don't, I unfortunately cannot tell you where to get it, but you can find it very easily. So what you need to do is copy this prod.keys file and move it into this Z tools directory inside the NSCB folder we just downloaded and extracted. So let's go into the Z tools folder right click and paste that prod.keys file. And just before we finish, we do need to rename this. So let's change it from prod.keys to keys.txt. Press enter on the keyboard. It will ask if you want to change the file extension. That means the part after the period, such as a JPEG, PNG, etc. And we are changing it from .keys to .txt. So let's just say, yes, that is what we want to do. And now we have a keys text document and that is good and we are ready to go. So let's go back to the main folder here and run nscb. You're going to see a batch file and an application but it shouldn't matter which one you run. They should both open the same program. So let's just double click on one of them and we'll be met with this very very complicated looking blue screen which I'm going to break down very simply for you. So to make things easy let's put it side by side with our file manager. And what we will use this for is to go into multi-pack mode and combine games with their updates and DLCs. So in order to get into multi-pack mode, we need to input the number two. So let's just press two on our keyboard and then enter. Once again, there will be a lot of text, but for now you don't need to focus on any of that. You might also get an error like I did here, but don't worry about that either. Let's just focus on the all capital letters. Please drag a file or folder over the window and press enter. So we are now ready to drag our games and updates into this window. So over here are some of my games that I would like to combine with their updates. Here is a Beyblade game and here is the update. I would like to combine these into one file to save my storage space and clean up my SD card. So let's just simply grab one of them and drag it into the window. What that will do is write down where it is in your hard drive for us and all we have to do is press enter. Once again, it's going to ask us if we want to drag another file or folder in. So let's now grab the update file and drag that into the window too. Click inside the window again and press enter. 
And for my Beyblade files, that is all of them. There is one game and one update. I don't have any more. So now I want to start the merging process. So over here now we have a lot of different options. But what we want to do is to start processing the current list of games. So we're going to input number one. So let's press number one on our keyboard and enter. It will now ask us, how do you want to merge them? Do you want to merge them as an NSP file, an XCI file, etc.? I have found that if you use an NSP file, it mostly doesn't work. But if you do an XCI file, it works pretty much every time. So we're going to input number two to repack these NSP files into one XCI file. So let's input number two on our keyboard and press enter. It will now ask if you want to patch the required system version. And I'll be honest, I don't actually know what this means. I always just say no and it works fine. So let's press zero for no and enter. And now we have the final step. Do you want to merge all the files into one file or separate them all? We want to merge them all into one file. So we're going to input number one, press enter, and it will now begin the merging process. You will get this nice little loading bar to see how far along you are. As you can see, it does this around 150 megabytes per second, so it's a pretty quick process. And once that's all done, it will say all files were processed. And now you will have two choices. You can input zero to go back and merge another game or input number one, and it's going to exit the program and close the window. So now you might be wondering, where is this new game? Where is this XCI file I just made? Well, if you go back to the folder we downloaded, the NSCB folder here, you will see NSCB output. And here is your game. You will see it's now in an XCI format and it says 1G plus 1U. That means one game plus one update. So let's go back to our game list. And I'm now going to show you how quickly you can do this once you get used to the process and you get used to which keys you have to push in which order. So let's do the same thing with Steam World Quest. So first of all, we're going to input zero to go back to the mode selection. We're now going to input two to go into multi-pack mode. It will ask for the game file. So I'll drag the first one, press enter. I will drag over the second one, press enter. I'll press one to start processing. Press two because I want an XCI file. Press zero because I don't want to patch whatever that thing is. And lastly, press one to merge them together. And now once again, we are repacking a game. And once you get the muscle memory for this, you can do it even more quickly. And I will say at this point, there is another tool out there called SAK, Switch Army Knife, which has a much nicer interface for this. So feel free to check that out too. But in my testing, I could not get it to work but I have heard from other people that it works well for them. So feel free to try that out too. I'm just gonna run you through the one that works very well for me. So once again, another game has been processed. If we come back to that NSCB output folder, we now have two games. Once again, one game and one update. And now let me just show you one more slightly quicker way of doing this, which is to organize your games into folders. So here I have Captain Toad. I have the original game, an update and a DLC. So I'm going to make a new folder called Captain Toad and I'm going to drag those three Captain Toad files into the Captain Toad folder. Now, when we go through once again and go into multi-pack mode, rather than dragging a file, we're going to drag a folder in here. So we're going to grab that Captain Toad folder and drag it in and press enter and that will add all of our Captain Toad files for us. So we can just start processing the list. And just like that, all of our files will be processed. So if you're using a lot of DLC, maybe you have lots of files to put into here, that's going to save you a lot of dragging time. And now that all of that is done, I finished merging all of the files I want to merge for now. I'm going to input number one and press enter and it's going to close down NSCB. Coming back over to the NSCB output folder, we now have all of our games ready to go. Steam World has one game and one update, Beyblade has one game and one update, and Captain Toad has one game, one update, and one DLC. So now we are free to add these to our SD card, and I will jump back over to my Retroid Pocket 5 now and talk to you more about these updates and DLCs. Jumping back into the secret console emulator on our device now, if we tap on the info here, you can see we have the game with the one game plus one update plus one DLC. And the great thing about this is we can still turn those updates and DLCs on and off. So if you go into add-ons here, you can see the DLC and the update, and you can feel free to turn it on and off as you please. It is not baked into the game forever. So not only are we saving space, 
and only showing one file on the SD card rather than the game, the update, all the DLCs, which could be many files. It's now just wrapped up in this one, but we still have full and complete control of what we see and what we use at once. So I think this is a fantastic option for cleaning up your SD cards, getting everything organized, and crucially saving that internal storage space. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a like and subscribe if you didn't already. Thank you so much to the patrons who helped me out this month. If you'd like to buy your own Retro Pocket 5, check out the official website through my affiliate link in the description. And tomorrow I'll be back with a new video and introduce a new concept to the channel, which is the Game of the Week. So I will see you there tomorrow. Thanks once again for watching. Bye.